After conquering the moon with Chandrayaan 3, ISRO is setting its sights on the sun. ISRO will launch the PSLV C-57 for the Aditya L-1 mission on the 2nd of September at 11.50 a.m. from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. The Aditya L-1 will be India's first ever mission to study the sun. There are many more missions we should do. It's not limited to moon. We need to go to Mars, we need to go to Venus, we need to understand other planets. Sometimes go out of our Earth, uh, mm -hmm. solar system also to other exosolar planets. So all these are needed. We should do all of this. This are, these are first stepping stones of achieving that. And for our generation, this is a step. Then for next generation, there will be many bigger steps. The name Aditya comes from the Hindi word for the sun. The spacecraft aims to study solar winds which can cause disturbance on Earth and are commonly seen as auroras. Recently, the European Space Agency had detected many small jets of charged particles expelled intermittently from the corona, which is the sun's outer atmosphere. This could help shed some light on the origins of solar wind. In the long run, data from this mission could help better understand the sun's impact on the Earth's climate patterns. And this, in turn, can have a profound impact on our planet's environment and technology. India's heavy-duty launch vehicle, the PSLV, will launch the Aditya L-1. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers in about four months to study the sun's atmosphere. Aditya L-1 will go to something called a Lagrange point, which is where objects stay put because of balancing gravitational forces and thereby reduce fuel consumption for the aircraft. The spacecraft will be put in orbit around the L-1 point from where it will be able to observe the sun without any obstructions. No, actually, there is a study project. I think they are going to study at a distance of 15 lakh kilometers. It is going closer to sun and they are trying to understand the core and it's a good project. See, in ISRO, we have no dearth of knowledge or intelligence or anything. In 2018, NASA's Parker Solar Probe came closer to the sun than any other previous spacecraft. It went right through the sun's outer layer and endured extremely high temperatures, exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. But the Parker Solar Probe continued to function without any issues. On the contrary, the Aditya L1 spacecraft will be positioned much farther from the sun than NASA's Parker Solar Probe. It will not encounter such intense heat. The Aditya L1 spacecraft will transport seven instruments to study the sun's outer layers, such as the photosphere, chromosphere, and outermost regions. These instruments will include detectors for electromagnetic and particle activities, as well as to measure magnetic field. Four of these payloads will be used to look straight into the sun, while the rest will study particles and fields at the L1 point. So why is studying the sun so critical? That's because solar weather and environment affect the weather of the entire solar system. Variations in this weather can change the orbits of satellites or shorten their lives. They can interfere with or damage electronics on board and even cause power blackouts and other disturbances back on Earth. So knowledge of solar events is key to understanding space weather. The sun's extreme heat and magnetic behavior can give us insight into our galaxy and far beyond.